we are going to talk about a trick uh, you often face a scenario where you have to create multiple variables uh, so you can load those variables definitions along with their name from excel sheet or you know it can be in line so it can be expressions uh, that you have to copy from one place to another so this is one of the ways that you can do it so uh, in this one I have 12 colors I'm going to try to create my own color palette so that it can be used um, I can create them on the front end one by one but it is very tedious process so uh, or maybe you know I want to keep a uniform color schedule so I have an excel file where everyone can use it and I have this thing coming so there can be a lot of scenarios the bottom line is, line is I want to create it dynamically using script okay so let's just load this one first and let's see what happens So it gives me 12 colors and here you go here you see the data these are the colors RGB color, colors loaded okay so the next is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a loop so this is I'm going to create a for each variable in so I'm going to use another important function field value list this is a very good function so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say value so it's basically get the distinct values from the list so and it's going to repeat for that and then i'm going to say let yeah i need to define another variable before that let i is equal to zero and then i'm going to say let's the color and this is another thing to show you that you can use this with the combination of the fixed text okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is dollar sign and i'm going to create this variable be careful when you're using this one you have to see use single quote otherwise it's not gonna work so you know the single quote and then i'm going to say max oh before that i'm going to add this to i I'm going to add one. Okay, so I'm going to reload it now. And if I go on the front end and I go to the variables, you see I have created variables V color one up to twelve, V color starting from zero to one, and you see. I have these definitions in here so it can be any definition that you can have so this is uh, one way and then definitely you can build on top of that um, let's just without using I so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna call name in here and I'm gonna call variable in here oh we still use a use this one and I'm gonna use peak function so I'm gonna use peaks function for value and use I in here so if I do that and if I go to variables now so all those variables are in here yeah we have another variable as well uh, it's called v12 nevertheless 